YouTube, it's the Nitro RC Nerds here for another edition of Nitro RC for Dummies. And today what we're going to be talking about is throttle linkage. What, what it is, how to set it up, how to troubleshoot it, and all that good stuff. Now for those unaware, throttle linkage is the components that allows the carburetor to open, close, and also to apply the brakes. So essentially what it does is when you squeeze the trigger, and when you brake, these are the components that make the car go and stop. Now what's important to note is that there are two types of carburetors. You have the rotary carburetor, like this right here, where the arm on the carburetor turns. So in other words, the throttle linkage itself, what it does, if you guys can see here, when the car is on and you squeeze the trigger, you can see right here that it turns the carburetor, it turns the arm to the side, effectively opening and closing the carburetor. And the second type of carburetor you'll find is what they call a slide carburetor. And if you can see right here where my finger is, this is the type where the carburetor goes where the, the linkages cause the, uh, this piece right here to go in and out. Instead of turning sideways to sideways, it goes in and out, kind of like an accordion. But it's the exact same concept. What that does is that opens and closes the carburetor opening, allowing for gas to get inside of the engine. Now the key here to the different components is you have your servo horn here, which screws off right here. And then you also have your actual link here that screws on to the servo horn right here. This is your brake linkage and that is hooked through the second horn, excuse me, the second hole on the horn right here. And these are your uh, grub screws or your grub nuts, I don't know what you want to call them, but um, they're set by these little set screws inside of here and you can loosen them to move them backward and forward. What you want to do is get this this piece right here and get it in as close to where you're screwing it in to the servo horn. The key to this is that when you're putting this together the first thing to do is ensure that this arm right here on the carburetor is all the way back okay and with that you should have a little bit of an opening inside of your carburetor opening excuse me probably you know anywhere between a millimeter and two millimeters and what that's going to do is allow you to idle so the thing that you want to do is first move this all the way back then you put this piece and it's going to be off of the horn put this piece first through here then take the brake linkage and put it through here. So typically this piece is off when I'm doing that. The next thing to do is again with this off and this and this and that all connected together, then you um, set your, uh, your servo. So you turn it on and you set it into a neutral position. And you simply take this horn right here, once again making sure that this is all the way tight to the back, you place it on, and you screw it. And when you do it, make sure that you leave the servo on. So while you're, while you're doing that and putting this on there, just make sure that the servo is on. And what you're looking for here is that as you squeeze the trigger, you can see right here, it's going to push the arm out, effectively opening up the carburetor. When you brake, this is where this spring right here comes into play as well, with this nut right here. When you brake, it's moving backwards, but you can see that this arm right here on the carburetor is staying in a stationary position. But what that does is allow you to move this brake cam forward. And when this brake cam moves forward, you're applying your brakes. So one of the, one of the most important tips is that and I'll show you here, as you're actually applying the brakes, 
sorry guys, as you're actually applying the brakes, if you can see down in here, your carburetor opening should not change at all. Because if that closes, then what's going to happen is you're not going to get any um, nitro into the engine and you're going to stall. So that's really it. It's, it, it's pretty easy. Just remember, um, if you're, you know, if you're having issues with, um, you know, keeping your, this from moving or whatever, um, just, uh, adjust these screws right here, have a good, have some good tension in your spring and simply just make sure that you're on a rotary carb at least that this is set all the way to the back. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.